All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about Morphin Text, and this is a component that I've made that you can get for free in my free components folder. Check out what you can do with this. So the component, look for it, it's called, it's Morphin Time. And if we head on over to Globals, the first thing you see here is the text. You can change whatever text is being displayed here. The stack, notice here we're you know, shrinking and then getting bigger and it's all centered, so to speak. If I change this to horizontal top, now everything's aligned at the top. If I change it to horizontal bottom, now everything's aligned on the bottom. You can change the font. If you change the pattern to linear, what you're going to have now is either text that goes from big to small, or if we change the text size end to something bigger than the text size beginning, that's how you can think about it. Now notice our text is growing from left to right. Now if we change this back to wave again, what this does is the text begins small, it grows to get bigger, and that's that text size end, and then it shrinks back down to that text size beginning. I hope that makes sense there. But the wave versus the linear. I'm gonna shoot that back over to wave, and now let's come and look at some other options that we can do with this. Skew, you can bump the skew up, you can bump the skew back, and then if we come back here and we change the stack, say, to horizontal center, you can really get all sorts of effects here. Let's come down and adjust the angle. That looks kind of jacked up, but if I come up here and I change the stack to horizontal top, and then if I take the beginning size, bump it down, if you mess around with this, I mean, check that out. With a little bit of tuning of all these features, you can get like a wrapping effect of the text, if that makes any sense. Not only that, you can come back in here and adjust the spacing so you can bring your letters closer together or farther apart. And uh, yeah, so what I've done there is I've just messed around with, you know, the beginning size, the ending size, the skew, the angle, I didn't change anything there. But uh, yeah, you can see how you can get really carried away with this. Now notice here that the text has an odd number of characters to it. You can put whatever text you want in here. For example, if I type in even number, I type that in because this is an even number of characters now, at least I think. Yeah, so we got 10 characters there. And now what it's doing, if you were to actually dive into this component, it's heavily coded over here, angle copy. This is the code for the angles. This is the code for the skew. It's very similar to the angles. Quite a bit of math going on there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> here's the code for the size. And basically what I was trying to do here is I was trying to keep all of the sizes of each individual piece of text as we get to the center, whether we choose you know, a small size over here and a bigger size here. Or whatever you decided to do. I'm trying to give you a couple of options here to get somewhat of a three-dimensional text effect. At least that's what it kind of looks like here. Imagine if you go in here and start changing and doing random colors and all that. I think you can have a lot of fun with this. Feel free to take these codes here and uh, dissect it and see how to uh, figure all this out. I actually ended up using Microsoft Excel to figure out the formulas for all of these pieces. And yeah, the formulas were quite crazy. But if you wanna get good at Excel too, feel free to pick this up. And as a matter of fact, all of those codes, the size, the skew, and the angle, as well as that Excel file, you can find that in my KOWP free stuff folder as well. Look for a morphing I misspelled that, but look for morphing text codes. And then once I upload the free component, you can find that in the free components folder. And uh, just one more thing before I let you go. So if I come into the text item now and I do a text converter numbers to words, and I want to do the seconds, it's going to take the number of seconds we have in a minute and it's going to spell it out. I'm gonna play around with these sizes a little bit more. So uh, yeah, there you have it, a morphing text. You can use a static text or you can have something that's changing every second if you want to. Again, pick this up from my free components folder, tinker around with it. The code is long on some of these pieces. I imagine if you dove into it a little bit deeper, you could fine tune it. And that's it for this video. I hope it helps.